Hello everyone, I'm Ashley Banfield. Welcome to Primetime Justice. Testimony has just finished up, in fact, a short time ago, on day one of the murder for hire retrial of one Dahlia. Okay, so it, it might be uh, funny, but the truth is, the list of charges that, that she's facing, um, if you add everything up and it, you go consecutive on this, she could spend somewhere around 50 years in prison for this. Uh, Paul Callan's a former prosecutor. Jonas Vilbor is a defense attorney. She's not going to spend 50 years, is she? Nobody got hurt. Let's just say right. lots of damage, crazy stuff going on, mm -hmm. but no one got hurt. No. That's going to save her. <laughs> That's, That's going to save her. And, and done anything like this before. We don't know what her history is. 25 is, years is a long can, time to hold a grudge. Can we show that picture again? Because there's uh, a tree in the yard I want to draw your attention to. Mm -hmm. In that front yard where all those... Whole problems. So yeah. in the end, I think I have to agree with Jana. I mean, she might get a prison jail. Yeah. And, and the whole Merry Christmas thing makes it worthy of TV. But in the end, if you're that Mr. Yeah. McCutcheon, his wife, and that adult daughter, uh, that was pretty dramatizing stuff. Yeah. Speaking of traumatizing, I have not yet started my holiday shopping. I don't know about you. Wait. And it is stressful enough, okay? Without some creep looking up your skirt. I am not kidding here. I'm going to show you video that will really <laughs> freak you out. And if you think it is illegal, think again. Really, think again. It may not be where you live. Back in a moment. Ladies. Wearing skirts, I hope you're sitting down for this because there is an accused pervert running around a Walmart looking up women's skirts uh, while they're just minding their business and trying to do their shopping. And most of them, many of them, don't even know that it's happening to them. Here's what I am astounded. <laughs> Voyeurism. That's it. Voyeurism. It's a misdemeanor. Guy well, might get a fine, slap on the mm -hmm. wrist, and be other. He's pretty practiced he at this. He might even have a defense here because... What? Well, well, yes, because in, in order to prove this, think about how difficult it is to prove. You see, under these statutes, you have to get thrown out by the courts as unconstitutional. No. Here's what drives me bananas. I have mm -hmm. been looking at these cases. There's a case in Georgia. There's a case in Massachusetts where they used mm -hmm. a photograph that, you know, used their cell phone to photograph up women's skirts. You would mm -hmm. think right away, I have a right to privacy. I have a right, an expectation of privacy under my skirt. Mm -hmm. Apparently not so much. Not in every state, up, because that is not okay. So it's really not a court situation. It's the way the laws are worded. A public place mm -hmm. is a public place. The fact that you have to be wearing a skirt in one of them is your problem. Right. The high courts are saying, hey, listen, this might make you a creep, but it does not make you a criminal. And that is insane. It's another case of the law not catching up to technology. Yeah. You, you know what? You're right. Keep your wits about you. If you're mm -hmm. out shopping and you... Oh. I, you saw the evidence. You saw what to watch out for. I was only kidding about what I said at the beginning of the segment. Slightly. Okay? Just Slightly. Do wear skirts. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't no, forget no, to no. visit so, Paul on Twitter later. Well, you guys are... The appearance. Me and my producers are hard at work watching surveillance videos. We go through, like, hours and hours of surveillance video, uh, you know, working on this show. Um, but, but we sometimes find the funny ones like that, you know, that lady with the, you know, the, the holiday lights and all the rest. And then we find other ones that make us really angry. Mm -hmm. uh, some new surveillance video has been released showing a black teenager sprinting away from us. Still with me. Uh, I'm so curious. Uh, Misty Maris is also with me. Uh, I am so curious about the, the way that hate crimes are prosecuted. It's not enough, is it, to just they were convicted, uh, these two, of... Uh, murder or hate crime with the added, uh, murder with the added hate crime? To be honest, nothing. Because usually what happens, a hate crime will elevate something that's altercation immediately preceding uh, this person running over that, that, that victim. Right. And my heart goes out to the, to the family and the father, too. No question. But I uh, if anyone says, I was afraid for my life in that confrontation, do they have the right to then run to a car, turn the ignition on, and chase down someone who's running from them. I mean, in a self he could have driven away if he was fearful for his life. So that's going to be a hard sell, although you'll probably hear the defendant bring that up as an argument at and trial. And the girlfriend is... Paul, Jonah, and Misty are still with me. we got a couple of roundtable discussions that I, uh, I have to get you to weigh in on. Sometimes we get these videos that blow our minds, and I would not want to be a police officer these days with the, the danger and the violence that they are confronted with every day. Mm -hmm. uh, one case in point, Waukegan, Illinois, where a police officer gets dragged, years old, 5'9", 190 pounds. If they catch him, what's he facing? 
You, the one who dragged the, the, the cop one who dragged with the, the created battery to a police officer and resisting arrest. Mm -hmm. But it seemed to me that it was like close to an attempted murder if you're going to drag somebody like that at that kind of speed. I would be surprised if they did out there, by the way. So don't forget, if you're up in that area in Illinois, uh, one Santos El Martinez. Uh, He's at a state that's super pro-life and seeing if there is some way that he can salvage. Once he actually names them. He's given like Emma and Isabella, these frozen embryos, he says, you know, they, they have a trust. I need somewhere to give my millions. Well, he's, you know, he's yeah. found a state, though, that's, you know, warm to this kind of a lawsuit. Yeah. Louisiana has this strange law that is an additional person, which, for instance, a corporation is that. It's an entity that's okay. created and has legal rights that is not yet human. And so well, we have I, standing in their jurisdiction there. Oh, you're crossing an embryo. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be interesting. I get the guardian and light him and all the rest, but it does seem a bit wild. And I'll tell yeah. you what, I think it's super interesting because there are a lot of cases like this where yes. couples are together and then all of a sudden they're not. And it doesn't mean that their science, uh, you know, has caught up with them. So right. I think it'll be fascinating to watch what happens. Uh, you know how it's Christmas coming up, right, guys? Mm -hmm. Sure do. Mm -hmm. You know that whole bad Santa movie? <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> Could we have the real thing? Just nothing better than that. You know, every holiday season, a little bad Santa just gets you in the mood, don't it? Uh, but in North Carolina, that kind of thing that you just saw sort of actually played out. An actual bad Santa who fat shamed a nine-year-old boy when he came to sit on the big man's lap and um, tell him what he wanted for Christmas. Uh, so the little kid is Anthony. And apparently, he was very upset with the Santa after he told him what he wanted, an iPod, iPod Touch, and a drone, some standards, to the little boy, but also apologized to uh, the, the supervisor. This was a town event. This isn't a mall. This is a town event. But the family's very upset. Do they have any recourse here? ...into this is Santa <laughs> should buy either the drone or the iPod oh. and gift it to the young man and all well, will Santa be well. Well, Santa should That's also look in the mirror because he's got a weight problem himself. <laughs> now, hey, doesn't right? right? Santa, right. what are Lay you talking off about? I don't know if there's necessarily legal recourse, but I think you could put pressure on it and say, this guy should not be playing Santa holidays. That, and... that Santa isn't working uh, anymore uh, for the town. And again, this is a town event. It wasn't even a mall or anything. Right. So it's not like there's huge deep pockets unless you consider the town as your deep pockets. But looks like little Anthony is going to be okay. Uh, and he got his justice in the end i guess <laughs> uh thanks guys appreciate it and thank you everyone for watching it's been nice to have you with us tonight hope you'll be back eight o'clock tomorrow night primetime justice in the meantime uh we love to have you on facebook and the twitter